I always love to start the show with mime, because it irritates people. Welcome to the program, everybody. We have a, uh, it's gonna be very good tonight. Yeah, really, I'm telling the band, not asking them. Because they don't know how good the show is. No, we have an excellent show tonight, and I'm thrilled about tonight's show. Some very cool guests are here. I also have the latest from Iraq. You wanna hear the latest from Iraq? All right. Thank you. Thank you. If you had said no, I'd be screwed. <laughs> I have the latest word, though. Yesterday, this is a big story, the U.S. military dropped four huge bombs on a restaurant where they thought Saddam Hussein was having lunch. Yeah. It's true. So they did. Yeah. Yeah, it was right after Saddam made the mistake of telling the waiter, surprise me. He's not ordering that again. Uh, I did not like that. Um, earlier today, White House sources said that President Bush has a three-part rebuilding plan for Iraq. That's right. Yeah, not surprisingly, most of President Bush's rebuilding plan involves Legos. <laughs> but uh, they're gonna snap them. Gonna like that. They're colorful. Anyone see uh, NCAA finals last night? Anyone see that? Okay. <laughs> like, some people are like, I did not see it! I was playing chess. Um, in last night's NCAA final, Syracuse defeated Kansas 81 to 78. That's what happened. Good story. Yeah. Yeah. However, according to the Iraqi information minister, Kansas beat Syracuse by a score of 1,000 to 9. So, more on that later. McDonald's made a big announcement today. McDonald's announced that it will install self-service machines to replace some of their employees. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's very sad. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, a spokesman from McDonald's said the hardest part of replacing employees is finding machines that have zits. <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> It can be done. And finally, I gotta mention this. Yesterday, the Yankees' opening day was canceled due to snow for the first time in over 20 years. Isn't that amazing? That's right, yeah. Yeah, New Yorkers were furious because this meant they were forced to watch the Mets. And I thought that was... I made half of you happy and pissed the rest off. I said, I have heard you happy and pissed the rest off. That's never gonna catch on. Stop doing that. That will never catch on. It did with you. But you, sir, are an ass. All right. That's what we do with each other, aren't we? Um, yeah, you like to get your single shot in there, don't you? While Max is away, he likes all the camera time he can get. <laughs> <laughs> Must get in that shot. <laughs> Anytime I see that shot from now on, I must destroy it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when Max comes back, I'm going to start doing that to him. Hey, Max, how's it going? Go <laughs> and I jump right into it. <laughs> All right. We have a really, really, really good show. I didn't lie. Thrilled. First guest tonight, Academy Award winning actress. And I mean this when I say she's been in, if I have like 10 favorite movies, she's probably been in like three of them. She can currently be seen in the movie Levity. Holly Hunter is on the show. I'm really happy. She's a great actress. So many great movies. Second guest, also excited about this gentleman. He can currently be seen in the movie Bringing Down the House, starting next week, A Mighty Wind. That's, I'm not calling him that, that's the movie. <laughs> that could be misinterpreted. Eugene Levy, he's always funny. This is a good show. I'm gonna stay up tonight, watch it. And then, musical guest, The Mooney Suzuki will perform. Right over here, Jimmy Vino in the Max Climber 7. Jimmy, good to see you. <laughs> 
Thank you, ma'am. You didn't do the wham, bam, thank you, man part. I knew you would do it. Oh. You did. So I'm that predictable, huh? No, it's just... I'm just like a monkey on a string to you, aren't I? <laughs> Let the monkey do it. We don't have to. I see how it works. I see how it works. All right, I've brought the energy down, and that's my job. <laughs> Got a lot of energy going over there, the band's I mean, playing. Yeah, my know. job is to bring it right back down to zero for sleepy time. <laughs> Go to sleep. It's very late. No, you gotta wake up. We have a really, really good show tonight. And when does that happen? You know what I mean? This is uh, something to write people about. A lot to talk about. I mentioned, of course, the, the war over there. And I don't know if you've noticed this. You have to have noticed this because they're everywhere. Every show has their own military analyst. I don't care what you're watching. CNBC, CNN, MSNBC, um, one of the other nine NBCs. They all have their own military analyst. And I thought, we gotta get one too, if we're gonna be a real show. So we went out and we decided to get our own military expert. The problem is, all the good ones were taken because we went about this way too late. <laughs> we, the cream of the crop, let's say, gone, but we did the best we could and he's been uh, doing a bunch of reports for us. Let's talk to Late Night's very own military analyst, retired General Sam Mildener. Now, General Mildener, four 2,000-pound bombs were dropped on a compound where Saddam Hussein was believed to be hiding. Do you think Saddam is alive or dead? I, I, walked, I walked in the unisex uh, uh, hairstylist, and I want my hair dyed $74. So I get just for men. I have my lady friend do it. General. General, did... General, did you hear my question? A uh, blow-up bob is made of a heavy material latex. It's uh, a heavier gauge than a uh, condom. Thank you, General. Condrum? All right.